Hello. I had a huge revelation when I got an orgasm. That big, biggest orgasm of my life gave that epiphany. The moment of truth. And what is that? Time is going backwards. We are living on Earth and we are going backwards. Not forwards. We are going backwards. So it's like you are reading a book for the first time. How can you know how to hold the book? How can you know that you are supposed to read the text in that way? Maybe you are have to turn it upside down and read the text. But people are learning to do something in a certain way. And they think that this is the uh, forward way, but it could be all backwards. When you're walking, maybe this is going backwards, but people think it is going forwards. So, when people have that uh, attraction to something, that they have a purpose, they have a plan to go somewhere, where is that? Where are they supposed to go? They are supposed to go home. They are attracted to home. They want to go there. So, as you can see, we are going backwards to home. We are traveling back in time to go home. Why else do we feel attraction? Why else is there gravity of planets because of the attraction people want to go home it's like a bouncing ball you throw it up in the air it comes back again it wants to come home same thing with people when they have that attraction they have that attraction to success to finding the truth to Fi having attraction to uh, women it is just deep inside of themselves that uh, programmed inside of them that they're attracted to a certain type of woman and they just want to go back to that woman but how do they know they're attracted to that woman in the first place if they have never been there before so you see, people must have been there originally in that place and now they are lost and they want to go home. They want to go back to where they were originally and this is why people are going back in time. To go back to where they were before. And maybe that is heaven or somewhere. That is where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be in heaven. But they are not. There's a fox over there. Let's go back. People are supposed to be floating on the fluffy clouds and be happy. And that is where they feel the most home at they're supposed to be with that uh, beautiful woman all day long where they feel home but they are not most people here on planet earth are constantly searching for that special woman and they never get it and they get sad so there is no progress at all that you make. You just go back in time. You want to go back to how it was before. Okay. So, how it is like? How is it like in heaven? You have everything you want. You have uh, your home to where you belong. But. Eventually, you become bored 
in heaven so you just wish you could forget you wish you could forget and have fun again and have a journey of coming home which is an exciting journey so originally you started in heaven but you had the plan to fly away elsewhere far from home and then start the journey back to home and this is where people are right now they are on their way back to home so we are going back in time we want to go back to where we were before so time is going backwards here first you are pushed away from home then you are going backwards in, in, the, in the journey back and forth like that like the big bang explosion lot of uh, rocks flying everywhere in space and then they want to go back again and that is what gravity is that attraction all those little pieces flying around uh, the universe they are going slowly going back again into a big uh, giant mass to go home again and then it then it will repeat the process that there's an explosion everything will just scatter around the universe and people will go back again back in time okay so the journey everyone has right now is a journey of attraction why else is there attraction what is attraction you want to go there you are attracted to it like a tiny piece of rock is attracted to something bigger a bigger planet because of the gravity people are attracted to things in life they enjoy things they want to go there they, they feel sad if they don't go there. They feel sad if they don't have a partner in their life who is uh, their dream, dream person. They feel sad without that. And they want it because they had it before. How else can they know what they like? People don't know what they like unless they have had it before some time in their life okay so people just want to go to back to their origin where they were before and my dog wants to cuddle with the fox he, he knows that is where he's supposed to be Just like men who are chasing after women, they know that is where they are supposed to be with that special woman who they feel attracted to. And the special sound of the hi-fi system, you get those orgasms, that is where I'm supposed to be getting orgasms. Because in heaven, that, that's how music sounds like in heaven. So it, uh, that is how I feel the attraction that, oh, wow, this music sounds so good, so clear. I feel like home. And that is what, what I have had millions of years ago. Nobody knows where people have been before. Nobody knows where people are in the future. Okay, so let's say your journey is to find home again. Get into heaven or somewhere, <laughs> anywhere that you enjoy, that you feel, consider yourself as home. Maybe some people consider hell as their home. So you want to go back to your original world, your original home. And what happens when you reach there? So you are traveling here. You yourself think that you are going forwards when you walk like this. 
maybe this is backwards okay nobody knows but when you finally reach your destination have you really traveled forwards in time or backwards because that is where you you were before you just were pushed out from your home and now you go back again so you're going back in time you go back now you are traveling back to your home again okay same thing here you are you are gonna travel there maybe to that house over there you walk there then you walk back again are you traveling forwards in time or back in time so that is the revelation I had that time can either go forwards or backwards it's a it's a dimension so either forwards or backwards why would it always be forwards you can travel backwards as well and you have no idea you are going backwards okay same thing here with the three-dimensional plane you have the X Y Z 3d plane how can you know that that direction is going left and the other direction is going right how can you tell a difference you can't so how can you tell a difference in the four-dimensional plane which, which is uh, time how can you know a difference if you're going forwards or backwards in time you can't it is impossible okay so the if you if you would think of it in a logical way there's a 50 percent chance you are going backwards in time and the other 50 percent is forwards in time and you have no idea and because of the attraction that you feel why else would you feel attraction if you are not traveling backwards in time you want to go home you feel the you feel the attraction to go home so therefore you are traveling backwards in time you want to go back okay so yeah i'm gonna go now i will see you next time goodbye